everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna. Today I'm going to be continuing on my pairing color series. Today is going to be featuring the color blue. This look here pairs the color blue with its opposite on the color wheel, which is orange. But today I decided to go a little bit more peach, although I do have a straight up orange on my lower lash line. I'm doing two looks today as always, one featuring the opposite on the color wheel, which is this look here. I just said that. And the second look will feature a look using blue with just a bunch of different colors just to show you that you can do whatever you want to do. And it'll usually turn out just fine. So if you want to see these two looks, then just keep watching. I'm going to start with this matte orangey peach shade through the crease on a nice big fluffy brush. On the outer portion of my lid, I'm taking this metallic blue shade on a flat brush and I'm wetting my brush to make it just a little bit more metallic. I'm going to pack that all over the sort of outer two thirds of the lid. I'm going to take that same blue shade on a smaller fluffy brush just to make sure that it blends a little bit better through the crease. For the rest of the lid, I'm going to take a duochrome pink peach on a smaller brush and start packing that on the inner third of the lid and blend it through until it meets the blue and it kind of turns a little bit purple. On the lower lash line, I'm going to take a shade that's a little bit more orange than the crease shade. This is just like a yellow-orange matte, and I'm just going to use a small brush for that. For the inner corner, I'm going to take this really icy metallic blue shade on a small brush. And I'm going to take a duochrome blue and put that right over top just to kind of bump that up in intensity a little bit. I'm also going to use that same duochrome blue on my brow bone. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to use a single coat of mascara for each eye. And this is the finished eye look. I'm really happy with this. For the face, I'm taking this sample set from Tower 28. This is their lip and cheek tint. I'm using the shade Golden Hour, which is a cream blush and it's kind of an orange shade. I'll be using a finger to blend that out on my cheeks as well as my lips. I'm also going to use the little highlighter that came in this set, but I don't think that it really does anything, <laughs> personally, but that's just me. And this is what look number one looks like. To start off the second look, I'm going to take this really bright matte blue shade through the crease on a fluffy brush, and this shade is just a little bit more turquoise leaning. On the outer third of the lid, I'm going to be taking this metallic purple, which is more of a pink toned purple, a little bit of a fuchsia tone, and I'm just going to be using a packing brush for that. For the rest of the lid, I'm taking this really beautiful dual chrome that goes from blue to purple, a little bit of a teal in there, and just packing that on. Ooh, look how shiny it is. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite shades. I'm also going to use the same purple shade from my lid and put that on the lower lash line. On the inner corner, I'm taking this glitter multi-chrome, which is a warm gold and a cool gold at the same time. 
kind of hard to explain all the different reflex in these glitter multi-chromes. For the brow bone, I'm going to use this metallic lilac with a little bit of a gold duochrome effect. And then I'm going to use a felt tip eyeliner and draw on a little bit of a wing today. To finish the eyes, I'm going to use just one coat of mascara on each eye, but I'm going to use black mascara on the top lashes and purple mascara on the bottom lashes. And this is what eye look number two looks like. Again, very pretty. I love all these colors. For cheeks, I'm going to take a sort of satin, glowy, cool-toned mauve blush on a nice big fluffy brush. And for highlighter, I'm going to use this powder highlighter, which is a white gold reflect. For lipstick, I'm going to use something a little bit different. This is a handmade lipstick made by somebody here in Ontario. I'll leave her details down below. And this is a liquid lipstick in mauve cocoa. It's a cool toned dark purple. And this is look two completed. So those were the two looks. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know which one you prefer. If you want to see more from this series, I'll have the playlist down below as well as a bunch of other places where you can find me on the internet. And if you want to subscribe, there's a place below where you can do that. If you don't want to, that's okay. Hope you're staying safe and well, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone.